doing two different ovulation tests. I'm doing Clinical Guard, which is the normal brand that I use, and I'm also trying the AccuMed um, ovulation test drugs. I am currently on cycle day 20. Um, I should be ovulating within the next two days, so I'm going to go ahead and do these tests and show you the results. Okay, so as you see, they're going across. The bottom one is the um, AccuMed, and the top one is the clinical card. And so my normal ovulation symptoms are um, since that I've noticed within the last month or so, and after having that topic pregnancy, is that I get really emotional um, right before ovulation, and I have had noticed that um, I get pretty significant cramping on my good side, which is the side that's the working side that has the tube. Has I only have one tube, so um, I notice significant cramping on that side when I do ovulate from that side. On the left side, I don't really feel anything, but I do get the um, mood swings, the emotional, um, um, EWCM, um, same thing with the right side, um, I also get headaches, and, um, yeah, just pretty emotional, weepy headaches and cramping only on the right side, but for the emotional parts, um, I get that on, um, on both sides each month. I'm hoping that this is our month we've been trying, I'm not preventing, not trying for the last six, five months. Yeah, five months, and then you've been actively trying the last three months. So, um, we're coming up on almost a year um, from the ectopic pregnancy and surgery. So, um, I'm hoping by the end of this month I'll get a little bit of a birthday surprise that is to be clients. So, um, my birthday is on the 31st, and I should be testing um, either a little bit before that or that day. So, um, I'm hoping that... I get a little birthday surprise, but if not, um, that's okay. Um, our next plan of action, if I don't conceive this month, will be getting an HSG done. And that is just to push the dye through my remaining tube and uterus to kind of flush everything out and to make sure that they don't see any adhesions or scarring or anything of that nature. From there, we will um, possibly be trying fertility treatments again. Um, he'll either put me or my husband on... Um, some form of um, fertility treatments or both um, which we have talked about in the past um, but we didn't need that because I was successfully able to get pregnant um, on Clomid before so my concern with that is is that I know that it can increase my risk even more of having another ectopic pregnancy and because I've already had one I'm at more of a chance of having a repeated one